Hello traders, it's Monday, September the 12th, and here is our London preview. American investors have taken a step back, outwardly expressing a cautious approach regarding what the Federal Reserve do next week. Lael Brainard will be speaking in Chicago later today. She is essentially the last Federal Reserve member that will be speaking publicly before next week's vote. Most investors have felt recent U.S. economic data has not been good enough to raise interest rates in September. Today's speech by Brainard will be a good barometer for investors and will get a reaction. Core machinery orders from Japan were better today. However, the Nikkei has opened up with losses and the direction for Asian indexes continues to face headwinds. The Bank of Japan will be meeting next week and because of this, yen traders find themselves in a precarious spot. Industrial production numbers will come from China very early on Tuesday and this is sure to stir up action on Asian indexes tomorrow. The Italian unemployment rate will be released this morning. The number is interesting because Europe as a whole continues to turn in troubling economic data and Italy has been at the forefront of the struggle. The UK will release CB leading index figures in this afternoon. The euro and pound sit near the higher levels of their short-term value against the US dollar, but they both started to lose momentum late last week. Gold and crude oil continue to have whipsaw trading. Both commodities made gains at different junctures during last week, but both saw selling as Friday ended. Gold is trading rather wildly because investors do not have a clear outlook regarding what central banks will do the next week and a half. Crude oil continues to find volatility as questions about supply and demand generate concerns. Data starts from Italy with an unemployment rate report at 8 GMT in the morning. At 1.30 GMT this afternoon, the UK will see the CB leading index reading. Importantly, at 5 GMT, US FOMC member Brainard will be speaking in Chicago about monetary policy. That's all for today. See you again later today for our New York session. Till then, happy trading.